we're going to be doing an unboxing. I have two more things coming, I think, tomorrow. I expected this tomorrow. It's not very exciting, but I'm going to do a video of it. Maybe somebody likes these old pans. This is a vintage wherever aluminum pan. Kind of like that Eagleware pan I did a video on. And the reason I wanted it, and it's a stupid reason. First of all, there were two of them by the same guy. There was one that looked even older, but it didn't have a rubber silicone handle, and I didn't want to buy one. Probably fit this one too. Oh, man. <laughs> They still sell these with the same model number. I, I actually didn't realize it was a seven inch pan. It's a seven inch pan, so it's pretty small. The new ones have slightly different machining. Uh, on the outside, they look very similar. If, if this is what I'm thinking it is. The outsides look very similar. Beautiful brushed aluminum. Uh, but the inside, it's beautiful brushed aluminum around the sides, the new pans. Then they have uh, that circular... Do I have one I can show you? The new ones have this circular, circular pattern. Beautiful brushed along the sides, beautiful brushed along the bottom, but then they have the circular. This one looked like it had the beautiful brush marks all the way through. And the guy offered me a deal. In fact, all three items, uh, this one and the two tomorrow, they were in my watch list, and the guy said, will you take this? And I said, yeah, I'll take this much off. Sometimes they just take $2 off or a dollar off. What, what? But something's coming tomorrow. They took a lot off. And if you figure in the shipping, I got it for a really good deal. I can't wait. I see a blue handle. This is what I thought it was. Oh, it's so tiny. This is tiny. I don't know how old this is. It could be 90s. It could be 80s. It is made in USA. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the brushing goes all the way to the middle. I'll show you a picture of a modern one right now. That Eagle Wear pan I paid $40 for. I did not pay $40 for this. That Eagle Wear pan that you can buy, I, my 8 inch, was $40 and it was crude. Look how fine that is. Look at the brushwork, and I think they're still doing this. They're just not doing it all the way to the center. Now they're making a circle here. Maybe it saves them some time. I, I'm gonna have to see if there's a date on here. I think this is a date code, and it says 86. Because I've looked at other pans on eBay. Some of them say 99, one says 2007. It's got a nice thickness to it. It's, it's rather light. It's pretty small. I might be able to fit two eggs on this pan. Right. Oh, it's not, uh, it's handle heavy. You know what? The new ones that they sell, people complain about being handle heavy. And I thought this handle looks shorter than the new ones, but it's handle heavy. Let me put it on the stove. Oh, oh, that's impossible. It's impossible! You put eggs in there, it'll be fine. Why do they do that? The question is, can I get the, uh, the labels off? Volrath on their website says use WD-40. That's coming off. That's coming off easy. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Boy, it looks really pretty though. You see how the swirling of the brush marks goes right to the center? That's why I wanted it. But it's, it's handle heavy. And I put some WD-40 in here. It's been soaking for a little bit. Which means I'm going to really have to wash this pan several times. You could use acetone too, I suppose. Oh, that came off pretty good. There's still, there's still adhesive there. I might have to give it one more. See how beautiful that is? 
See that swirl pattern? We're gonna clean it just a little bit more and we'll do a quick wipe of Mother's Mag. What's interesting, what's interesting? The weight of the rubber makes the handle heavier. Without the rubber, it sits pretty flat. See? Let's look at it again. Look how beautiful this, that spiral. The outside looks very much like Master Chef brushed aluminum. All right, I'm gonna put the handle on for now. Maybe we'll cook with the handle off. Maybe we'll cook with the handle on. The eggs will weigh it down. Will they? You don't know. We're gonna have to cook eggs in this tomorrow morning. 